He was choked so bad to stop something from going to his head. Margie Hatton is describing the night her son was brutally attacked and left in a coma, apparently by a complete stranger. Hatton tells Pix11 her son is in such bad shape here at Lincoln Hospital. I feel terrible. I can't even go up there. Yeah, I can't even go up there. I don't want to see him. This surveillance video shows part of what went down last month. James Smith was walking near Park Avenue and East 140th Street in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx when he was attacked. First with a punch. Smith tries to fight back, waving his arms, but he falls to the ground and the attacker continues to punch kick and choke Smith until he blacked out. The entire time police say this woman stood there acting as a lookout. That, that man did not deserve that. Michael Martinez says he was hanging out with Smith just minutes before. Tell me what happened. I had me and my wife had left in 10 minutes before. We found Martinez at the scene of the attack emotional and breaking down. At one point he fell to his knees to pray for his friend something Smith's mother is also doing. You know what, I, I just pray every day. You know, that's what you can, you know, pray and ask God to, you know, keep him. Smith's mother says prayer is definitely needed. Her son has a fractured skull, and police say this attack was completely random, and they're desperately trying to find the people you saw there in the piece. If you have any information on their whereabouts, we'll call Crime Stoppers. The number is 800-577-TIPS. We're live in the Bronx tonight. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.